Hello. In this video, we're going to install Xcode 16.4 and the iOS phone simulator on my MacBook Air M4. Before this, I just finished installing it on my Mac Mini M4. So this is the MacBook Air recording. So thanks for joining Mac Mingle, and we'll try and cut through this as quickly as possible. Let's begin by choosing our drive and determining whether or not we have in applications Xcode already installed. So scroll down and checking here, I'm seeing that Xcode is not installed right here. So that's the first check that we can do. So now let's close out of this and move on to terminal. And in terminal, let's go ahead and type in the command Xcode build dash version. And we get an error. This tells us that Xcode is not installed, so we've got to go ahead and install it. So to do that, we'll exit this and then go to the App Store where we need to go ahead and pick up the Xcode app. So let's search here for Xcode. And we want to pick that top left one that Xcode Developer Tools. And I've already previously downloaded it to my Mac Mini, so we have a cloud right there. Let's bring it down to the MacBook Air. My connection's a little slow, so we'll jump ahead to when it's just about complete and continue. And here we are. The install is pretty much completed. We're at 98%. And a message pops up saying that multiple extensions have been added for Xcode. We'll let that happen and let that go. And we can now go ahead and click Open. And that opens Xcode up and it asks more questions about download and install. I've already got Mac OS 16.5 installed and it's asking about installing the iOS simulator 18.5, which I do want. I don't want the watch, the uh, TV OS or the vision OS. So this is all I need to go ahead and install. So we'll go ahead and click download and install. And now it asks for us to go in and log in. And once we're logged in, installation begins. And that looks like the installation's complete there. There's an option to continue, but on the top right, you can see that iOS 18.6 has begun installing while this is happening. Now, we don't need the simulator to test Xcode. So we can see on the Xcode screen here, we've got to create new project, clone a Git repository, open an existing project, etc. These are some of the choices that are open to us. What we're going to do here, once we see the iOS uh, simulator installed, is go ahead and create a new project. And there's a default project that Xcode creates with a Hello World that allows us to validate that Xcode works and that the simulator is connected and it works too. I'll cut ahead to when iOS has done installing the simulator. And a screen pops up while that's happening in the background about choosing a template for the app, but we won't uh, quite do that yet. We'll wait for the iOS simulator to be done. It's at 93% right now, 94, and it's almost there. We're at 99% on the simulator. And it looks like that's done and ready to go. Xcode notifications may include alerts, etc. And that's okay. Let's go ahead and select the iOS option here on Xcode. And then within that, we want app selected. And then we can go ahead and click next. And that'll create the default app. But we need to give it a name. Let's call it Hello World. It's a default app. We don't need to turn on a team or an account unless you're in a professional business setting. And for the organization identifier, we'll just go ahead and type in a com dot example. And then for the interface, leave it at Swift UI. For the language, if it's not saying Swift, go ahead and change it to Swift. And uh, for the testing system right here, we need to go ahead and change that to none. We selected that drop down and we're going to pick none. With none selected, 
Yes, we got that right. Good. A storage should also be none for this little app, which doesn't really use any storage. It's just going to go ahead and save that Hello World program. And we leave that host to CloudKit unchecked. So if you drop down to storage, you have Swift data and core data. We don't need that for this particular validation exercise where we're really confirming that Xcode and the simulator are installed and working. And it's time to click Next. And that brings us to a screen where we need to go ahead and say, where are we going to store the files that we might create, the code that we create? And you can choose Documents or Desktop or any location that you like. And it'll go ahead and create a folder for the project you're working on. So for this, we'll go ahead and select Desktop. Let's make sure that the Create Git repository on the Mac is turned off. We don't need that. Select Desktop and then click Create. And you saw Hello World being created. It pops up the default code, which we can see right here on that code panel. And you can see that iOS 18.6 is processing. It's kicking itself off. Let's give it a little time. You can see that spinning wheel in the center of the iOS screen on the right, the light gray. And there it is. Hello world has popped up. So now we know Xcode's been installed. The simulator has been installed and it works. And that's all there is. Thank you so much for joining us at Mac Mingle.